testing the mic headset quality again. Again, this is testing the mic volume, the Hephaestus P1 gaming headset from Gamdias. I'm testing the mic quality, how clear the mic is, how loud it sounds in comparison to the game sound. I'm using the NVIDIA Shadow Play to record my gameplay right now. Again, this is the uh, gaming headset from Gamdias, known as the Hephaestus P1. It's not wireless, but it has a very thick cord that can't be twisted, can't be crimped. It actually feels like a braided rope. Um, it's got a mute button, it's got an on-off switch for the bass boost, it's got an easy-to-adjust max and min volume, which slides the volume very quickly up and down. It's got an adjustable mic that not only slides up and down, but it's semi-flexible, so you can bend it in front of your mouth and away from your mouth. The headset ear cups are extremely comfortable, and the headband is very flexible. Again, this is a mic test of the Hephaestus P1 gaming headset by Gamdias while I play Battletech in this secondary contract mission. the brutal power of the dual AC-20s. You see I have three pluses next to this AC-20, which makes it a more powerful weapon. It has plus 20 damage over a normal AC-20, 120 damage. Plus it has a bonus to additional, uh, you know, stability damage. And then I have another AC-20, which does 10 extra damage plus more additional bonus to accuracy. So unfortunately, I used up all my precision strikes, so I'm just gonna smack punch it with as much damage. Reduce one of my weapons so that I don't overheat. Engaging target. defends himself in half damage because he is um, steady. See this little symbol right here, the shield symbol? That means he's either undercover or he's entrenched, which makes him suffer half damage from attacks. So when an enemy mech is down on the ground, when you knock them down, you can simply click on them and you get a free called shot. You can see his head is very damaged. He only has one hit point left in the head, so literally if I scratch his head, this mech is dead without blowing up all its parts. So I'm going to, even though it's a 60% chance, I'm going to risk going for the headshot. Taking the shot. Look, I missed the head, the body, hit some legs. But it was worth the risk. Could have hit him, but did not. So I actually had to boot boost the mic volume and lower the system sounds a little bit. This mic volume is a tad low compared to a previous mic that I was using on the Hephaestus P1 gaming headset by Gamdias. So hopefully this balance is a little better. I did have to boost the mic volume. I had to lower the game sound in comparison to my default settings. So again, I'm hoping my random shot hits the head. You can see I would overheat and shut my mech down. So I've got to turn off the PPC, which draws a lot of power. Uh, I'm going to see what else I shut off. I'll shut off my SMM4+. Plus. It's a close range. Um, I'll shut off with another M laser and then launch what Tell I got. Me what to shoot. Hopefully one of my machine guns will miss his head and give us his left arm. Random machine gun fire hitting everywhere. Does not look like hit his head. Another hit like that and you're toast. Just trying to get lucky. Didn't didn't take his head out, so it's gonna be a slow death for this thunderbolt over here. I've got a whole nother lance of mechs coming in. Structure exposed means your armor's down and that your raw um, structure of that part is exposed. Which is not very good. You could always see your health at the bottom of the screen here. If it's white, it means you still have armor. You have your A rating and your armor rating over your your default system health. I have 68 hit points left on my left arm here. Uh, either this armor or crit hit could take on my SRM 6. So hopefully, uh, I could bring my double AC 20s to bear. But I'm not going to move him just yet. Oh, yeah, I'm going to do a melee attack right here. Nope. Yes, I'll do a melee attack with somebody who actually has small weapons. That way they fire up and punch. Just in case I don't kill him with one hit with a melee attack. So my grasshopper will throw Targeting a punch here. Physical attack. And destroy his left torso. And then he'll just launch all his small weapons. Hopefully that's not to take him out. Dang, that guy really, really absorbs a beating, doesn't he? That's 70 ton mech's probably a grasshopper. That thing's going to do some damage. Yep, so big hits. Of course, they always go for my main pilot. My heaviest mech, my Highlander, just went down. My pilot's injured. Probably take him out of commission for 30 days to heal in the sick bay now. In the meantime, I'm going to have to take this out. So, I'm going to aim from this distance. I'm just going to fire my one set of SRM6s and double AC2s. Aye, aye. This guy's really held up a punch, but he gets knocked down at least. That'll knock him back into ignition in round one, giving me some more time. Oh, incapacitated, which means the pilot died inside the mech without the mech being destroyed. He only has a certain amount of hit points, and I was able to do enough damage to take him out. 
Now for here, I'm going to get to cover. Green spots are cover. Let's see. I'll just jump here is fine. Lifting off. Very close to overheating, so... Alright. I like having a, you know, ace pilot. That way you can move after you attack. Or, you know, attack after you move. I've been you sensor locked. What do we got with this thing? Cataphragm. Damage. Ooh, attack from behind too. I'm surrounded. Uh, took a heavy hit there. Okay, here I'm gonna do the famous death from above. You can see the DFA at the bottom here shows I'll do 180 damage to the enemy if I hit, but 180 damage spread against both my legs, so 90 damage to each leg. I like to see how much health my legs have. This leg has 75 plus 12, and that's 87. That means I would lose this leg completely. This leg would survive it and be severely damaged, but I would lose this leg of my death from above. So I advise not to do death from above in this case. Instead, I will just get up close and personal, and then I'll pound this mech down with small weaponry. The, you can buy various mods that help reduce your death from above damage, which is recommended, because... Death from above can be quite brutal if you're not careful. Mm. I drop my wall this right here. Here we go. He had a lot of armor, so I didn't expect to cut through his armor this quickly. Hoping to do death from Oh, my cockpit mod got destroyed. I'm wounded. That's what helped pre prevent injuries. Critical hit, hit, hit. Critical hit. That cockpit mod allowed me to ignore injuries, and I just got toasted. I can't jump with him, he's got near death, but I will make a, a nice little punch with him. Melee attack. Engaging physical attack. Oh, there goes his right arm, his right torso. He didn't fall, though. Take out the legs, they fall instantly. Do not take out the leg. Suffer my AC2's got that. Reporting damaged. critical hit. Standing by. Right below. Right below I do want to take him out. I need to reduce my heat, so I'm not going to do it. Hopefully, that's going to finish him off. Engaging. Yep. Unless his right leg is such a person. Inspired. Now I could probably use my precision shot again. This cataphract is nasty. I'm taking internal damage. Stepping by. That is an option here. I can hit him from behind. Uh, might as well do that. Maybe I can do some serious damage. Expose the structure. I can blast that. Destroy the heat sink. Destroy another heat sink. Not, not as much damage as I was hoping. How'd that taste? Fire coming in my grasshopper. Commander? Right, Hitman. You gonna hit him? Maybe he'll fall if I hit him. He's very close to being unsteady and knocked down. Come on. Ah! ID, come on to me. Yep, that looks like a fall. Two more heat strings destroyed. Critical hit, Commander. Pilot injured and knocked down. So pilot injured and pilot injured again. Usually when we're injured, I can take out this pilot without losing the mech. Oh, so the force is going to swing a punch at me. Oh, and there's one left my hand. Probably just destroyed my AC-20. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Damage minimal. Okay. to the attack somewhere. Let's get some range over here. Engaging jump jets. I'm gonna central shot him while he's down. He's got... Not too good. Let's see. Take out 
Yes, it did. All right, look, he's got 44 hit points left in that center torso, so let's go ahead and uh, good to go. Let's go ahead and finish him off. The one that's gonna back up. Let's get to some place safe. Up high. Position myself. To look. And let's finish off that center torso. Down. Three mechs remaining. Take a beating now. This this seven five three mechs. Receiving you. All right. Let's see if I can. I should pound him out. Position confirmed. Time to get physical. Not too bad. One more melee and he'll go down. He's gonna try to get away from Oh, he from above me and he missed. So that. So he injured both of his legs and he went on missing in the process. Now you actually do suffer some leg damage Good even when you miss. Let's go hit him while he's down though. Affirmative. Well he's weakened. Definitely fall with his head. There's a jump jet, and he gets knocked out. Critical hit! I'll go ahead and finish off with a death from above here, just to do it. Go ahead. Even though I'll probably lose one of both of my legs in the process. Oh, I did hit. Destroy his left torso, his left arm, pilot injured, unsteady. I did lose my main. Dragon Lugger, but he's not dead even though it says dead, so that's really Waiting good. for orders. Let's fire one last round, to see if I can take this out right here. Come on. Roger that. Everything I got. Another head hit. One more injury in the pilot's dead even though his mech does go down. Alright, gonna finish Minor him damage, off here. Orders. He's not gonna survive this turn. Got it. Instead of overheating, I will reduce my laser rays. Aye aye. 
trash. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. You know, for three stars, this turn would be a lot more difficult than I thought. It's go time! Complete the mission, but... Mission. I might actually pay more in repairing my mechs than actually earned in this mission. Let's go take a look at my mission rewards. 303,000. You see, oh, a lot of damage to my mechs. That's gonna cost a lot to repair. 105 days to recover? He's out for a while. At least he's not dead. Ooh, looks like I get myself a cataphragm. See what else do I got? I can get a quick draw. So two or three parts here. What else do I got? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I can sell those maxes worth going on. See, they got uh, plus ten damage, so that laser plus plus. It's not too bad. Wait, even better. The laser plus plus plus. So it's got PPC plus. SRM4 plus plus plus. That's pretty darn good. I like SRMs. Now my random selection gives me. Ooh, got a bunch of extra mech parts. Total value 12 million, although you never really see that much. I did get that M Laser Plus 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 edition and the Legmon. Alright, now time to go recover.